Hello everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're doing something different, we're not reviewing a ship and we're not battling it, well, not just yet anyway. We're actually taking a look at one of my builds for a change, or a modified version of a build. Now to be clear, the core build of this, as Stargate fans can probably tell, was the Daedalus. Now what I've done, is I've upgraded it with lots of big guns and changed a few things around the layouts and stuff. So, to be clear, the Daedalus version, the original core version was made by Mike L, there'll be a link in the description. However, I probably won't upload this to the workshop as it's kind of a one-time thing. But if people do want the massively overpowered Daedalus with loads of guns, then it will be on the workshop. But yeah. Anyway, I designed this ship and it's called Operation Kills Zockley. Um, because a lot of the minute, I know Sage, Scott, Conrad, a lot of people are designing ships to kill Zockley. So I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon as well. And due to the last time, the Daedalus came second in a match with those lot, I believe. We're going to be testing it again soon, hopefully, sometime. So yeah, this is the upgraded Daedalus. We've stripped away nearly every normal weapon, we've reinforced the bridge, there's more reinforced armor placing on the side here to protect those gyros. We've got giant bigger cannons up here, look at that, massive. More thrusters push us down, because that was lacking before. And also now the has a heavily, heavily upgraded um, main thrust. We have ten thrusters here. Three, three, that's six. Yep, that's definitely ten. Just thought to double check with a minute. In case someone screamed at me in the comment section. So yeah, ten thrusters now. That's a little overkill. We also have more down thrusters now. Previously we only had the space thrusters. Now nearly every main thruster is hydrogen. We still do have the small old ones like that, but we got rid of them. We also have main guns on the bottom here. These main battleship turrets. I love these things. They look so cool. Especially these ones as well. These sort of coil things. If the lights could light up in here, like these sort of power cells on the side, that'd be amazing. But yeah, this is the upgraded Daedalus. We've got anti-missile turrets here because we do know ships do throw a lot of missiles around. Got some there as well. This thing's kind of litter, it's kind of battle cruiser designation. Basically, what I've done here is, you know, any Stargate fan would know the fighters are deployed from these bays here, this bay here, and the one over here. But do compensate, it's going to be a multiplayer match where I'm only going to be flying the Daedalus itself. There's going to be no room to launch fighters. And drones, they're not really that good at this current stage. So what I've done, I've completely stripped down the fighter bays, and I've replaced it with hydrogen. So we've got hydrogen thrusters in here, along with tanks, and a conveyor connection all the way into this area here for more side thrusters. So it's kind of improved it a lot. We also, uh, oh no, I left those bits there, didn't I? So there's two, still two more reverse thrusters here. So we have six reverse thrusters in total, and four small ones. Not much, well, the six big ones are the most advanced. Uh, I kind of kept this front. Similar, I did cut off one of the antenna beams, which was a sensor, because I didn't feel a need for a sensor. Um, but the bridge is still here, one of the many bridges is still here. Now we do have these front batteries... batteries? <laughs> That's not what I was meant to say. These front cannons, or batteries, however you want to pronounce it, um, are here. And these things do pack a punch. Previously we didn't have missile tubes in here, but now we've got these things. And they do, whew, let me just say they do pack a punch. Also got these things down here as well. Um, these are Mark IIs. Another anti-missile thing here, and there. So we've got loads of anti-missiles around here. Now we've got the side sort of wings here. More missiles and these giant batteries as well. So I just stuck a load of like anti-missiles in there because I kind of thought, hmm, it may have a chance to shoot down other ships' missiles. And if we can do that, it's going to work quite effectively. Now you're probably wondering, Jack, why isn't there much weapons on the bottom here apart from these giant turrets? Well, fun fact, I kind of wanted to stay true to the original design. Daedalus never had any weapons on the original, so I kind of attempted, I say attempted, to limit the amount of weapons that are on the bottom here, but still went overall. We have these turrets here with the giant ones, the giant ones here, and those on each side there. So yeah, a little overboard. But yeah. On the top spine here, if any fans of like it will know, it did have missile launches coming out of here. However, we're not using the guided missiles mod, much to my dismay. But you know. So we have these line of turrets up here, more anti-missiles and these giant coil turrets. We also have Teleon anti-defense here. Not sure this one does. I think it shoots anything. But yeah. On the main deck, we have these giant battle cannons. Look at them, they're massive, aren't they? They're the Mark III's. More anti-missiles, two coil turrets. Now these are anti-fighters, anti-missiles, anti-fighters. You get the picture. We also have our third bridge up here. I missed that the second one a minute ago. So this is our third bridge. This has kind of been stripped down. I'm probably going to just fill this with some something of importance, but it's probably not going to be that important. Because this is our main bridge here. Now not much of the interior of the ship has changed. If you do want to see a full um, like tour of the ship, Go and watch my original review of it. Obviously it won't have any of these cool weapons, but it's just a vanilla version of a Daedalus. I do recommend you go and check it out, because it is amazing. So yeah, this is the bridge in here. Got two consoles at the front. We've also got some stat boards on the side. It's still booting up, apparently. It's good. 
all the air vents, the jump drives are charged. And yeah, that is everything. What's this? I think that's cargo, isn't it? I don't know what that is. They're a little empty, apparently. Should probably pay attention. Now, I was going to expand this bridge more, but I'm kind of limited to the box I can play, so it's kind of just there for now. And um, one little secret feature is that if I get in and go below, in here there's a sealed um, compa uh, compartment surrounded by heavy armor. Obviously, the sides aren't heavy armor. But this, I was kind of design this as like a very end game backup bridge. Like, you only fall back here when you're desperate. My camera is going too fast. You only fall back here if you're desperate. So, you know. That's why this is back here, and it does take uh, like a pain in the ass to get here, because I don't, I think this door leads, yeah, this door's a dead end. So you'll have to fight your way back here, practically, because it is a bit of a pain in the ass. So yeah, this is my upgraded Daedalus. I've kind of just given it a paint job, upgraded some weapons, changed a few of the compartments around, which I've already explained. So I've not done that much. You should still go check out the original review and build of Daedalus. It'll be linked in the description here. It is amazing. I do recommend you go and check this build out. Anyway, I'm feeling a battle test. Who else wants to see a battle test? I know you're all screaming at the screen, so Jack, do a battle test. So I'm going to go find someone on Steam's friends list, and we're going to do a battle test. So I'll be back in a mento. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack. Welcome back. We're now doing the battle of this phase sort of thing, yeah. So we're going to be battling this upgraded Daedalus thing versus itself. Let's see how it goes. Now I brought along a friend. Hello. Hello. Would you want to say your name and your channel name so people know where oh, to go? Oh, okay. I, I guess I'll do it. Uh... Hi, my name's Venom from VTG, and uh, there should be a link down below in the description. No, I'm not going to put a link. Right, are you ready to battle? <gasps> How evil. This is going to murder our that. FPS. Are you ready? I am ready. Bring systems online. Systems online, Captain. I think you're intercepting. Oh, I think you're intercepting the main gun. Oh dear, <laughs> Admiral, she's got, she's giving a well. She's got Captain. The lag. Oh, it's real. Uh, why am I on 40 FPS? It's for sim speed more than anything. My face. Oh god, you've been ripped. A, you've been torn a new one. Oh no, I'm flying over the, like the critical area. Why did I do that? Should have gone underneath. Your face Target has been the torn main off. Components. Flip around. <laughs> My poor face. Oh, that's a large bolt flying towards me. Oh, it hit the rear bridge. Oh, you're sending missiles at me. I've got missiles. Or something. I should have missed the guided missiles. Oh, God, that will hurt. Bring her around, Captain. Hey, Captain, Helm is not responding. Are you out? Uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> She's going, this is quite a short battle. I thought it would be less damage, to be honest. What's that? Most of it's well, still working. Well, you have how many cans and cannons on this? Quite a lot. Yes, you do. Coming oh. within range. <laughs> Are we getting closer? I can't see you. Your antenna must have been destroyed. No, my antenna's still on. Oh, it doesn't show up for me. Oh, there you yeah, are. Yeah, yours is knocked off. No, mine's definitely here. I can see it on screen. Target my cannons. Why oh! do the big ones not fire? <laughs> they don't seem to be interested. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Damn! Why are my thrusters... Why have I lost so many thrusters? That fire oh man, that looks good. Epic. And then long distance. Oh, that, that barrage of that just missed me. <laughs> this has got to be the slowest U turn of all Space Engineers history. Oh, definitely. Well, actually, I think that's Lockley ship, to be honest. Are you coming around for another front? I kind of have another mass. Target in sight. Oh dear God, cannons! Why are you not targeting? Fire! We're on Fire the opposite everything. side, bollocks! Fire everything you got! Fire everything! <laughs> oh! So I, th I think he's. The bridge has been hit. 
I think he's attempting to ram us. Sir, he, he's definitely rammed us. <laughs> he, he's definitely gone to war, sir. <laughs> Listen to the noises they make. It's beautiful. Those big cannons do tear a thing a new one, though. Oh, that's why I used them on my vengeance. Damn, Daniel! Ah, there goes my cockpit again! I think All the, systems are down. Your neck is being ripped off. I think the reactors are gone, haven't they? Yeah, everything's redlining. Oh, oh. That lasted about five minutes, judging from Audacity's thing. Should, should, we, um, should we get rid of some cannons? No, no, this is what it's designed to be. Have you seen Sage's ship and Scott's? They've got more than this. Trust Jesus. me. Well, I, I think we can clearly see who the victory is there, and it's the guy who built the ship, funnily enough. I mean, totally wasn't biased against that, but well, hey! Hey, yeah, completely <laughs> not biased. Venom's off to build a ship to destroy me now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this different type of video today. It's not what we usually do around here. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, where we kill Venom a few more times, then please do let us know. Uh, I've been Captain Jack, and he has been... Venom from VTG Gaming. There we go. We'll see you in the next video. Good day.